Hello stampers, I am Kelly Etchison at estampabub.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Happy Sunday, happy Father's Day. Oh my goodness, we are honoring all those dads today, right? <clears throat> we had a beautiful, beautiful day here. Um, the weather was perfect. It was nice and warm out in the backyard. The kids came over for a little while. I got to spend some time with them. And they brought us this really cool outdoor umbrella. And it's funny because they didn't know this, but our table umbrella broke the other day. So I went to Menards and got a new one. <clears throat> but this one is different. This one is like on a pedestal and it comes up like this and then has an arm that goes out like that and then this giant umbrella. And it's gonna be really nice to kind of push up next to the pool so the babies and the smaller kids can sit in the shade if they want to in the water. And uh, it's from, um, I think, Steph and Anna. The kids got it for us for our anniversary, which is coming up <laughs> July 4th. Yay! Um, Steve and I will be married 30 years. Whoa. I don't think I'm old enough to be married 30 years. What do you guys think? I wish. <laughs> But I have to tell you, life just keeps getting better and better. And I, I just, I, you know, people used to say that and I'm like, really? Because feeling kind of old here, but it really does. It just keeps getting better. Oh my gosh, it's supposed to be 100 on Tuesday, Karen said. Karen, it's supposed to be super duper hot here Monday, I think, and Tuesday. And um, probably the rest of the week, it's going to be pretty warm. So, yay. Sorry for those of you that don't like the warm weather, but love it. So I'm going to get me up here on my screen on my iPad so I can see your comments coming in. Yay, that worked out really good. It was flawless. So anyways, happy Father's Day this morning. Um, Steve left before I got up, which he usually does. He goes to the Y and don't worry, I always know he's leaving because he rolls his Harley out to the end of the driveway and then starts it up under my window. Hi, Haley! Um, so he starts it up, boom, you know, that, that sound that I love. And, uh, oh, background noise. Thank you so much for telling me that. That's my fan. I forgot that I had it on. Thank you. I just turned it off. And um, anyways, he went off to the Y. So I got on Snapchat because my kids call me a Snapchat whore. That's right, <laughs> because I love Snapchat filters. And I snapped him like eight different filters telling him Happy Father's Day. Like one was Buzz Lightyear, and I said, coming to you from Buzz Lightyear, you have an amazing Father's Day. And of course it changes your voice and it does all kinds of funny things. So I actually got to watch him watch all of these, kind of, when he got back from the Y. He opens up one and he's kind of, you know, smiling a little bit like, oh, that's funny. And then he touches the screen and the next one comes up and he's like, oh, there's another one. And it, before it's done, he touches it to get the next one to come. And then the next one, he goes, my gosh, thought, are you seriously annoyed at all my funny Happy Father's Day filters? Because that's not okay. <laughs> I made him watch the rest of them. Hmm. Yeah. Cindy, thank you so much for telling me about the background noise. I've got a fan parked right up there. <clears throat> And it is loud, and I completely forgot that it was running. So, um, Haley and Jared and the babies are up north at a beautiful campground. They're staying in um, um, cabins at this beautiful campground. They're having an absolute blast. I heard that Little Miss Valerie was the belle of the ball last night at the live band music that kid loves her live band music just like her jared's parents her other grandparents they're big into live music and i think that's really cool and valerie apparently was out on the dance floor from start to finish and she would be dancing and then she would stop dancing and she would wave at the lead singer in the band standing right in front of him. And then she would call out people from the crowd to come dance with her. <laughs> Can you believe that? <gasps> oh my gosh, I wish I could have been there to see it because I'm sure it was just hysterical. Well, oh, Betty says she likes my shirt. This is a Stampin' Up! shirt. Um, I can't even remember where I got it. 
I don't remember, but I really like it too. It's one of those little baseball shirts. I don't wear it very often because it's in a drawer in my closet and I didn't really know where it was, but I found it today. So, um, the kids are up north this weekend having a great time with um, Jared's parents, so that's really fun. They've been fishing. Uh, Belle wanted, she caught a fish, she wanted to kiss it. So, <laughs> that was pretty funny. <clears throat> what else is happening? I'm still dealing, you guys, with some allergy stuff going on, so please... <laughs> Please ignore my <clears throat> all the time because my throat gets a little raspy and I have to kind of clear it because, well, you know, I don't need to get into the details. I'm sure you understand, right? <laughs> if you guys could give me a thumbs up, that really helps me in the Facebook analytics. I appreciate it so much. Um, and just a few things I want to chat with you about. First of all, uh, you guys saw that I put out a new catalog registration. Yeah, Val's a new groupie. I know, right? Um, I am going to do something different with sending out catalogs this time around. There's a link on my blog. There's a link on this Facebook page that you're watching me on right now. I sent it out in a newsletter. If you would like the current catalogs from me, we have brand new catalogs coming out. They start July 1st. This is the new July to December mini catalog, and this is our new celebration brochure. They are coming, they're, they're live. You can order from them and earn free products starting July 1st. If you need catalogs from me, I am so happy to send them to you, but you need to fill out that registration form. I've got a lot of people with um, new addresses, so I'm getting things back in the mail that aren't going to proper addresses. So um, when you fill out that registration form, you're gonna be able to update your address. And then also, I will just know that yes, you do need a catalog. A lot, of, um, a lot of the catalogs I'm sending out are being duplicated, like you're getting a catalog from somebody else, or maybe you're a demonstrator, you're getting a catalog from Stampin' Up. So I'm trying to eliminate that duplication. So if you want a catalog from me, no matter who you are, please fill out that registration form and I will be happy to send them out. Molly, <laughs> I've got Molly working downstairs right now. She is putting my return address on all the celebration brochures and all the catalogs. She is filling in the information on the back right now. <laughs> Work, child, slave, labor, it's amazing. And she does a really, really good job for me. So she's gonna be staying overnight here tonight Maybe tomorrow and the next day, we don't know, but it's gonna be super hot. And we actually live only four blocks away from the high school and she goes, she's going to summer school. She's absolutely loving it. She's got an art class and a math class and I think a reading class, but she's having a lot of fun. And so I ride my bike with her to the high school. It's four blocks away every morning and then I go on my bike ride and she goes to summer school and has fun. And then um, she can ride home because it's so close. So that's been really convenient. <clears throat> Anyways, I talked to you about the catalogs. Now, the other thing I wanted to let you know, this is our big annual catalog, okay? This is the big kahuna. If you did not get one of these, please let me know. These came out in, um, like, they would have been shipped to you in April. They started on May 1st, or May 3rd, I guess. This is the new, or the, the current catalog for the annual catalog. If you didn't get this, let me know. I'm happy to include this with the other catalogs, but this cost me $8 and something to mail it to you because it's heavy. Um, so please make sure that you don't already have it. All right, next up. Um, I showed you guys a whole bunch of product that I got in with my new catalogs, right? Showed you a whole bunch of celebration. I showed you a whole bunch of the new holiday mini catalog products that I got in my pre-order. One of the great benefits of being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator is that you get to pre-order ahead of the of the everybody else a month. So um, customers start ordering July 1st. I got to start ordering June 1st. Super cool. Now, you get to do that whether you're a demonstrator like me, where this is my job, right? This is my business. Or you're a discount shopper where all you're going to do with this is get a discount and be part of my team. Yes, Debbie says she loved the unboxing video. It is so awesome to see so many new products kind of, 
kind of in real life, right? So anyways, I wanted to let you guys know that if you join my team, you also get to take advantage of pre-ordering that new stuff ahead of time. If you join between now and um, the end of the month, you can add pre-order items to your kit that you get to customize. If you wait until July 1st, you're going to get a beautiful, gorgeous planner. Let me grab it. My planner, oh, right here someplace. Hang on. It's in a drawer. Here it is. I've started putting stuff away. Let's see, does everybody get a good view of my butt? Yep. <laughs> Too much. Here's our beautiful planner. You're gonna get this planner free if you join my team during celebration, which is all of July and August, okay? This is a massive planner. It comes, it's a three ring binder planner. It's got pockets, It's. Um, it feels like it's leather. I don't know if it's real leather or not, but it feels like it's leather. And then you get to put all the stuff in it. So this is um, goes from, I believe, August until December of next year. Let me see if I can find the calendary part. I, I just told you guys this when I did my unboxing, but heck, you know I can't remember anything. Yeah, December of um, next year. So you get this giant planner when you join during celebration. Just wanna make sure everybody knows that. And you can pre-order all the fabulous products that I just showed you when you join my team. Yay, okay. <clears throat> Next up, Stampin' Up! just announced that, uh, oh wait, um, Kathy Schmidt says, can discount shoppers purchase the planner? Yes. Right now, until the end of the month, Kathy, on the demonstrator website, you can go in and you can order the planner. I believe it's $45. Now, if you're um, demonstrators, <clears throat> are gonna to go to the demonstrator website and click on happening now, then current promotions, and then celebration. You're gonna find the item code in there, all the information about how you can pay for this planner. <clears throat> Once July 1st comes, on July 1st, discount shoppers can no longer pay for the planner, okay? You can't get it if you are on, if you're on Stampin' Up's um, discount shopper list, you can't get it anymore after July 1st. So I just want you to know that. That's a really good question. Stamp It Up just announced free shipping. What? Yeah, we love free shipping days. Um, it's a day where I will stock up on stuff that I need. And um, free shipping, I'm just scrolling through my phone here. Sorry, you guys. Um, free shipping starts or is on the 21st of June only. Okay, 21st of June. You're going to get free shipping on your orders over $75. So your order has to hit $75 before tax and shipping, you're gonna get free shipping. So this is exciting. Now, to go along with free shipping, I am offering an ordering special. I am going to be sending one of the new embellishments out of the mini catalog, and it's a surprise, I'm not telling you which one. I'm going to send a new um, pack of embellishments out of the holiday mini catalog to everybody who orders from me between, I believe it was yesterday, um, until, oh, I forgot to write that down. Oh, does anybody know what my promotion is? Oh my gosh. So like horribly funny and ridiculous that I can't remember that. <laughs> Through June 26th, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Too many things, you guys. So between yesterday and June 26th, if you place a minimum $75 order with me, you will get some free embellishments. So, oh, and Elaine, I'm so excited that you caught me live tonight too. So, um, free shipping on Tuesday, embellishments to go along with that promotion. The free shipping is for $75 and more. So just be aware of that. And Sue is asking, she says, I wanna order the magnetic cutting plate. The magnetic cutting plate is no longer available. It had some quality issues and Stampin' Up! is all about quality and they are not going to be um, selling it anymore. So, sorry, I didn't even get my hands on it. Um, yeah, we're, we're all very sad, so, but 
just so you know, that's what's happening with that. And I saw somebody, Lisa answered somebody, um, demonstrators right now are earning free celebration product. So with every $50 that we spend during a pre-order period before the public can order, we are earning free celebration stuff. And it's so awesome. <laughs> you get to do all the things plus. Like being a discount shopper or a demonstrator with Stampin' Up! is the most amazing benefit. As a stamper, everybody should be getting a discount. On to the next subject. I have to tell you guys a really funny story. So, um, I was working, I was working, working, working. I'm, you know, my brain is full and working. I'm like, oh, I need to go take a break. So, went downstairs and I ate a salad. Oh, and I'm happy to report, you guys, that I am down eight pounds. I know, I'm so excited. And I can feel it. Like, I feel so much better. And these types of shirts don't fit me when I'm up eight pounds. So, that's really nice that I get to start wearing some of these shirts that are a little too tight when I'm up eight to ten pounds. So, pretty excited about that. Anyways, decided to take a break, and I went downstairs and made myself a salad. Hi, Martha Simons. I haven't seen you in a long time, my friend. I'm happy you're here. And I ate my salad, and I went outside to the garage. My husband spends the majority of his time in the garage. He likes to sit out there and watch um, golf. He works out in the garage, and he listens to his music, and I really don't know what else goes on in the garage, but he spends a lot of time out there. So, I will take a break and go sit out there and just chat with him because I need to, my, my brain needs to get kind of numb. That sounds kind of mean, like we have numb conversations, but you know what I mean, right? I need to just take a little break. Oh, thank you guys so much. Who said that? Betty said it's very noticeable. I know my face automatically gets thinner when I drop a few pounds, right? I wish I could get rid of this whole deal right here. I don't know, that's gonna, I think that's probably gonna cost some money. I'm just kidding. And it, no, I really do want it gone. But um, anyways, um, I go outside and I'm telling him about my Apple Watch. Now, I have some issues with my Apple Watch because I don't know how to run it properly. And I said, you know, this Apple Watch, when I go for my bike ride, it will come up and say that it sees that I am doing a bicycle workout. Would I like for it to record all the whatever analytics? And I say, yeah, go ahead. But once I get to my nature preserve where I get off the bicycle and walk around the perimeter of the whole place, that's part of my exercise every day. Once I get there, my watch, my Apple watch kind of starts freaking out because it's like, do you want us, do you want us to pause? Do you want me to pause this workout? Oh, now it's asking me if I can, it can help me with something. Do you want to pause the workout? And the bicycle workout. Well, yeah, but like it never jumps into the walking workout part. So I feel like I'm kind of getting ripped off on what it's recording, right? Like, so I was telling about this. So I was telling like, and, and I don't know how to make it work right. This is what he says to me. He says, well, you have to be smart like a smartphone to run a smart watch, right? <clears throat> now I'm sitting back in my lawn chair. It rocks, by the way. I'm rocking and I go, you may want to tread very lightly right now. You know what he says to me? He says, no, I'm okay. He goes, I don't need you to buy me anything right now. No. My husband is retired, so we tease that he's on a fixed income, right? This is my job, so I'm still working. And so I'm his sugar mama because I'm the one with the job. And so he doesn't need to tread lightly and not be insulting me that I'm not smart enough to run my Apple Watch because he doesn't need me to buy him anything right now. Can you believe that? We laughed and laughed and laughed. I almost had tears. It was so hysterical. Anyways, um, we have John report. I don't really have much to report on John. He has been um, like gone a few days again, I think. Um, his truck is back. I didn't see him. His kid came to visit with the grandson. So that was kind of, you know, that was good. I don't have any other news on the John front. 
Um, what else can I tell you happening here? I don't know. Not really that much. Um, I am going on a road trip this week with Anna and in um in Andy, her oldest daughter, my oldest with Anna granddaughter. And we are going to a fair. Now this is really funny too because as they're talking about this and invited me to go to the fair, they're telling me they're gonna go see Taylor Swift, which I'm I'm not really a fan. I don't really care for country music, but whatever. And Shania Twain, which I do like Shania Twain. And, and that's who they're going to go see. And we're, they're playing at a fair. So we're going to go watch them. And I'm like, that sounds great to me. The tickets are only $15 into the fair. There's a rodeo there. We can go to the rodeo and the fair and see Taylor Swift and Shania Twain. Whoa, right? It's in North Dakota. I live in Wisconsin. And we're going to road trip to North Dakota to go to this fair. Well, today I found out that it's like a cover it's a it's what do you call it like a cover band it's one of those bands that are gonna sing taylor swift and shania twain songs <laughs> it's not them actually <laughs> and i thought it was kind of funny because 15 dollars really <laughs> and they're like no it'd be like 700 dollars to see taylor swift in concert live <laughs> so there you have it. There was my blunder. Whatever. Anyways, we're road tripping. And uh, Becky said she was born in Grand Forks. Yep. <clears throat> we used to go fishing in North Dakota. Every year we went to Devil's Lake. And as a matter of fact, it's Father's Day weekend. I would be there right now if my father was still alive because that was his trip. Like every year he would gather up all of the kids and the grandkids and we would make a caravan with RVs and campers and boats and we would head to Devil's Lake for a week of fishing and it was just the fondest memories. That's what making memories are all about and um, that's what we're going to do this week when we go on our road trip to North Dakota to see not Taylor Swift or Shania Twain for $15. <laughs> I can't believe I was... I just didn't think. I just wasn't thinking, right? I know you guys are all laughing. Like, how could you possibly think that you could go see them for $15? I'm not a big live music person. So that really didn't, that really didn't set in with me that that's ridiculous. <laughs> did I dye my hair? No, I did not. Um, my hair is turning blonde. My hair gets really sun bleached in the summertime. So that's why when you see pictures of me outside, most often you'll see a hat on because my hair just like sun bleaches like crazy. So no, I did not dye my hair. I do dye my roots, but I haven't done that lately either. So I don't have gray roots, but it's the same color as, as my hair. So, but thanks for asking, do you like it? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to flip my camera around. Uh, oh, we could do prizes first, huh? How about that? We'll do prizes first. I've got mail to share with you. I got some I got some fun presents this week, so I have to kind of share that with you too. Don't let me forget at the end, okay? Um, I wanted to give a shout out to Esther Truesdale Washington. Esther, if you are watching, um, you are from Pennsylvania. These were yours. They're yours but you only have one more week to claim them. They've been sitting here for um, a few weeks now and I need you to email me your address so that I can send these off to you. You won these for commenting on a Facebook Live a few weeks ago. So I'm gonna set them right over there. I hope to hear from you so that I can get them out in the mail for you. All right, um, I'm just looking at comments here. Next up, we have do I have no that's not right here we go <laughs> I got confused we have some polished dots going out to Judy Dempton Judy is from D land Florida Judy you got these for commenting on my last Facebook live so if you're new to me please make sure that you're leaving a comment you can say hello you can say where you're coming from you can say whatever you want but you definitely want to leave a comment under this video so that you get entered to win oh, fabulous prizes, right? So these are coming your way, Judy. Woohoo! All right, I'm going to set that over there so I don't lose it. Next up, 
share this video. Someplace on your screen right now, you can click on a share button and that helps me grow my audience. And of course, with bigger audience, I am doing better at my job and this is how I pay my bills. And buy things for my husband that doesn't seem to need anything right at the moment. So funny. Oh my gosh. So for sharing my video last week, I have some silver and clear epoxy dots. Judy, yay, I'm glad you're on here. And also the Abstract Beauty 4x6 Designer Series Paper Packet. This is going out to Wendy Morse of Apple Valley, Minnesota. Congratulations, Wendy. I'm so excited you won. Let me put this in a cute little envelope. We got some fancy envelope coming out to you. Next up, the third way that you can win fabulous prizes is by placing an order with me. All the orders from last Sunday to today get entered in a drawing to win something fabulous like this. Yay! This is a Gentle Waves background stamp. This is so, so pretty. This is going to be going out to Linda Morrison of Sun City, Arizona. Linda, thank you so much for sharing my video and thank you to all of you who shared my video last week. Now, whether you share it right now while we're live, you can share it um, when you watch later, you can share it on YouTube, all of that is entered into the drawing Oh, for sharing. Um, entered into the drawing for sharing. Um, orders are just orders who come through my store. And I see Wendy's on here tonight. Congratulations, Wendy Morris. I'm so happy that you won. Okay, I've got all my prizes ready to go out in the mail. So I have had a super busy few days, I have to tell you. We spent a lot of time um, enjoying the weather. Okay, it's summer. Um, hi, Mary Emilio. I'm happy to see you on here. And so when I spend a lot of time away from here, things tend to get a little backed up in my office. So, so I've been frantically trying to make swap cards. I need to design cards. I need to get them cut. I need to get them out of here to my helpers to um, stamp and assemble for me so that I can get them in the mail. And now I threw in this little road trip thing. I don't think I'm going to bed today. <laughs> but anyways, as I was, I had everything ready for tonight, I started working on a swap card and I thought maybe you guys would enjoy seeing a little bit of my creative process because I haven't assembled this. I'm just still working through it in my head. So would you guys like to see that? I think it's always kind of fun to see somebody's creative process. I know that it can help me and you can get little tips from it or whatever. So we're going to flip the camera around. We're going to get ready and see what I've been making. So let me flip this over. Now, first of all, before we go too much further, I want to get this straight on here. Let's make sure all my lights are on and my cords are out of the way. Here we go. Whoops. Hang on. I got to plug in one more, one more light that came unplugged. There we go. Okay, and get a drink. What are you guys drinking tonight? Oh my gosh, that tastes so good. Um, oh, Linda Hopped. Are you from Hopped Well Drilling, Linda? Please let me know. <laughs> I just see your name come on here, Linda Hopped. If you're from Hopped Well Drilling, I would like to know. <laughs> I'm trying to get a well. All right, so. I am drinking my strawberry lemonade. Of course, that is what I drink. I did make myself an old fashioned the other day. It wasn't that good. I'm not going to lie. So yeah, Debbie says road trips bring many memories. Exactly. That's what we are making memories. So we're pretty excited about it. Now here comes my creative process. You guys, have you seen the hippest hippos stamp set? <laughs> this is like the cutest thinking stamp set ever. And then we also have an entire set of dies to go along with it. And all of these cute little elements make this just the sweetest thing ever. Oh, I see lots of people drinking wine and pink lemonade and water and Dr. Pepper. Yeah. 
Who's got the old fashions? Anybody? Kimberly, boring water. I'm sorry. Raspberry iced tea. That's good. I like that, Kathy. <laughs> so this is part of our celebration promotion. When you place an order of $50 starting July 1st, you can choose this among other products or you can choose the dyes. Each one requires a $50 order. Oh, Linda says she lives in South Dakota. Okay, so our well drilling company in the area where I'm trying to get a well drilled is Hopped Well Drilling. And so I thought maybe you might be from there and we could chat because I need a new well. Well, I need a well, not a new one. I don't have a well at my South Park property. Anyways, hi, Patty Canal. Happy to see you here tonight. I hope you are well, my friend. Um, this super cute stamp set and dies are free when you place $50 order, $50 order. So here comes my creative process, you guys. So I just wanted to share with you what I was doing here. This is a celebration pack of paper, and I showed this at, in my unboxing. And this plaid paper drew me. Um, it, just, it just caught my um, attention to use with the hippest hippos because I thought, oh, this is really, really pretty. And it's fun, right? So this is free paper during celebration. So when you order $50, you can choose to get this paper for free. And it's really, really pretty. It is called Rings of Love. It's 12 by 12. There are six different designs in here and you get two of each sheet. So very, very, very pretty. It goes along with the um, tree rings bundle. See that these are tree rings, the tree rings bundle in the new um, JD mini catalog. <clears throat> so I decided this was a super fun print. And the other thing is, is that I have a ton of this paper. I have a ton of these packs of paper. I'll probably be using it for class coming up. So I am collecting it as I am putting in my pre-orders, which you guys saw the other day was a little over the top, right? So I got lots of celebration products. So I decided to use this particular paper and just because it's fun. I'm just using a tiny bit of it. So this is what I've come up with so far, you guys. This is um, Calypso Coral with Petal Pink. And I've stamped Petal Pink Hippos all over this layer. And then I took two three quarter inch by four and a quarter inch pieces of the plaid. And I chose the width on this because if I went smaller, it looked kind of goofy. So I thought a little bit wider would be good. Okay, so this is what I have going so far. This, this card is gonna fold right here. I just haven't done anything to it yet. And then I stamped my little hippo right here and you're so hip. So I've got this stamped. I'm planning on coloring it. I think I'm going to put it right in here. And then I grabbed some of our pool party sheer ribbon because this matches the paper. Even though, I don't know if the paper is actually pool party. Oh, it is, no, uh, hang on. It is not, it doesn't list pool party in here. It lists mint macaron, but this certainly does match well, right? And then it doesn't list Calypso Coral in here either, but look at this stripe. That's totally like Calypso Coral. So that's why I picked that color in the petal pink. Anyhow, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this little bow and I'm going to tuck it right under the edge of the circle. I'm gonna color in my little hippopotamus or something and add some embellishments. What do you guys think? That's how my creative process worked. So when I get this done, I have to cut 21 of these and get this off to Brooke for her to make for me. She will stamp everything and assemble it for me. And then I will give her the envelopes, the stamps, my return address label, and she and, and clear envelopes, put everything in. She will mail them off for me as well as all of, all of my mailing labels that I have here. <laughs> so that's how all of this works. So um, I, I do appreciate that I, I have help. And when you are kind of operating at this level, it's insane not to get help. So um, I'm pretty good about delegating stuff. But this is going to be my cute little card. And I'll make sure that I do share it with you guys when I get it done, right? I think it's going to be super cute. I don't know. I love the hippos. Okay, so let me... 
um, I'm just going to tuck this away so I don't lose any of my pieces because when we're done stamping tonight, I will be finishing this card and getting it all cut up and packing up a bin with all the things in it to give to Brooke to finish these off for me. Oops, I gotta keep this together too. Okay, I just thought that would be kind of interesting to see that, right? All right, oh, what are we gonna do? First of all, I need to share something with you. I had this box sitting in my next to my unboxing box of stuff when I did my video the other day. If you guys happen to miss it, I showed a video of just all the products, the designer paper, the embellishments, the stamp sets, the dies that I have pre-ordered out of the new mini catalog. If you need one of these, go to my blog, www.astampabove.com right here. And there's a place where you can register to sign up to get the new catalogs. But anyways, this box was sitting outside my box and I, I'm like, I looked at it and I'm like, don't miss that. And then what did I do? I totally missed it. So I wanted to show this with, to you. This is the embossing additions toolkit. It comes with oh, an embossing buddy. and They're back, my friend. I'm so happy to see these back. This is for embossing. So when you go to emboss with embossing powder, this is what we're talking now. Let me grab a little piece of cardstock here or a big piece. You take the embossing buddy and you rub it on here. It's a little chalk bag. And then you'll stamp with your Versamark, pour your powder on, tap it off, and this helps keep your powder from sticking places where you don't want it to, only to the ink. So that's what this embossing buddy does for those of you that may be unfamiliar. And then this tray, oh, love, love, love. It's got a little um, cover on it. You would take, pour your embossing powder over, tap it into here, and then you can grab this. Where is, oops, hang on, I've got things falling. Oh, here it is. And then you would take your jar of embossing powder and you would tap it all back into that. Do you like my shot glass? Barb gave us, me and Dina, these when we went out to Wyoming last time. So, <laughs> more than you really needed to know. Anyways, you could put your little lid back on. And then, also with this little kit, we have some reverse tweezers. And what this means is you don't have to pinch them to hold them closed, you pinch them to open them. So this is really nice to hang on to things. You don't have to keep pinching this to make them squeeze closed. You pinch it to open it up. And then also this really, really nice brush that can help you kind of brush away any little errant strands of or sprinkles of embossing powder. So I'm super excited to see this little kit. This is going to be available um, July 1st in the um, JD Mini Catalog. It is part of a suite, or you can order it separately, but it is, yeah. Sharon says these are a godsend. I know, right? Yes. Um, I love it. And this helps tie bows. Exactly, Char. You can, you can use, use this to help tie bows. So I just wanted to show this to you since I told myself not to forget that it was next to my box and then I totally forgot it. Okay. I also have an old one. We used to have these in the embossing buddy a while ago, but if I can't, hang on, I'm going to put this back in here. Well, maybe I'll just set it here. It's loud and obnoxious. If I can't sell stuff, I don't use it on my videos, you guys, because all that does is it creates frustration for people who may not have these products. I don't want to be showing you an old embossing buddy and you're like, where's that coming from? I want one of those. Nope, you can't get them. We don't sell them anymore. I would not be doing a good job if I did stuff like that. But for people who may not have this, I'm really excited that it's back. Yay! All right. Let's get uh, let's get our first project going here. Now, you guys know that I have some online classes happening right now. Sun Prints, or I should say Nature's Prints, is one of the online classes. This is a pre-order for this class right now. It is going to be available. The PDF 
or the online class file with all the video tutorials, instructions, and photos will be sent out on Friday. And I will be doing that from the road, <laughs> just so you know. While Anna's driving, I can sit with my laptop and work, but I'm not going to be doing that 24-7 because we're making memories on our road trip to see not Taylor Swift and not Shania Twain at the fair in North Dakota. <laughs> All right, so with this online class, the Nature's Prints, you're going to need the um, bundle, the stamp set, and the dies. There is the opportunity if you um, register for this class on my blog right here, look for online classes, click it, and you'll see all of them, that you can add this on to your order. There's an option one or an option two. Option one includes this. It includes the designer series paper. It includes a pack of elegant faceted gems, gray granite, this beautiful, beautiful ribbon. And also, hang on, we've got an embossing folder here someplace. It also includes the Fern 3D embossing folder, which is just spectacular. So the online class, you get all the goodies. Plus, you get a pre-cut cardstock pack of um, enough layers to make six different cards. Each card has a video tutorial, um, instructions, photographs, and a PDF file. So you can sit at home and make this entire class at your leisure. This is called Nature's Prints. So we're going to be making another card because I always like to share additional cards with you because I think that makes the value of a class raise, right? That, that brings the value of a class up. You're going to get all the cards in the class, plus you're going to get some extra ideas. So I love to do that. I'm going to bring in my piercing mat. This is what it's called. It's called a Stampin' Pierce mat. You can find these in my online store. I don't know how much they are. They're like six, seven dollars, something like that. I just wrap it with printer weight tape or paper, scotch tape it on here, and this is my stamping surface. Oh, and I see people were saying they love my nails. I am ready for this little county fair with a rodeo and the 4th of July. All in one, you guys. Aren't these spectacular? Yeah, my Miss Vicky did a really good job. And she didn't yell at me. So there's a bonus. Um, <laughs> next, I'm going to be bringing in the Starry Sky Stampin' and uh, Stampin' Blend marker. Those are This is our alcohol marker. And I'm fumbling here, I don't know why. I've got my stamp set all mounted and ready to go. So the first card that I'm going to share with you was actually shared with me by one of my team members. Um, she's also my helper, Kathy Miller. She makes beautiful cards. She's a very, very talented stamper. So we are going to be using Gray Granite. Now this is one of the colors in the beautiful Sun Prints Designer Series paper. And we are going to fold our eight and a half by five and a half inch layer in half. And just so you guys know, all of these dimensions, photos, complete ingredient list, and free downloadable project sheets are going to be available on my blog once I get done tonight and get all the photos taken and get it loaded up on YouTube. Okay, so you can go to my blog. There's going to be a... Um, well, there's not going to be a link. There'll be a link under the video on YouTube. You can go right to my blog and you can find all of this information and save a project sheet that tells you exactly how to do this, all the dimensions to recreate it at home. Now, this is basic white. This is four by five and a quarter. This is gray granite, four by five and a quarter. And then we've got a piece of starry sky. I just love the starry sky with the gray granite. I think it's just spectacular. This is two and an eighth by five and a quarter. We've got a piece of basic white that is two by five and a quarter and then some scraps. So first thing we're going to do here is I am going to, uh, this is a scrap, this is a scrap. So I'm going to bring in those dies. These, by the way, are called the Nature Print dies. There are 11 different dies in here. Oh, so pretty. 
so pretty. Um, we're going to do this label first. So we're going to die cut this. We're going to do a little bit of stamping on here. And I'm going to bring, you guys know, is this called, a, is this a ginkgo leaf? Is that what that's called? I keep wanting to call it a ginkgo leaf. And I'm like, I don't know if that's really what it's called or not. Uh, where's my gray granite? Gray granite ink right here. Starry sky right here. Okay. By the way, before I forget, if you guys, if anybody's placing an order and your order is under $150, when you go to my online store, please use this host code. That helps me get stuff to give away as prizes and so on and so forth. If your order is over $150, do not use this code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those. If you have any questions about where to find my online store, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask. All right, I'm going to be using the A Heartfelt Thank You. And who knows what I'm going to say about this sentiment. Does anybody know? What is Kelly going to say about the sentiment? I think she's going to rave about the font, right? I love these font combinations. I just think they're so cool. Whoops. Look at my smartwatch is magnetized and it's dropping my dies all over the place. Hang on. I found one attached to me the other day when I was walking in the other room. So that's a good way to lose stuff. Anyways, here comes my heartfelt thank you. And I'm just going to stamp this right on here. Oh, I see I messed it up a little bit. Let me try it again. Oops. I did it again. Hang on. I might have to take my watch off, you guys. This is getting dangerous. Let's move that over here. I'm going to grab another scrap because, well, I have a lot of them. <laughs> I'm pushing too hard in my ink is what's happening. Tap, 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 tap. That's what we need to do. Tap, 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 tap. Oh, so much better. Okay. Then I'm going to take this. Is that a ginkgo? Did you guys tell me that it was? Oh, is Steve on here? Yay! Judy says she loves the font too. I know, right, Judy? It is so, I, I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. So here comes some gray granite ink. And now what we're going to do with this is we are going to stamp it off because we want it to be very, very pale. Um, I think I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut it first. So I am going to bring this in here. And this kind of fits perfectly right over here on the side with this label die. I have got my baby boss or my mini boss. I guess I like to call it baby boss. This is my stamp and cut and emboss machine. And this is the mini. Mini's better, right? Mini, mini boss. We're going to add our label. I like to use some temporary tape to hold this in place because I've had them slide around enough that it's annoying that it's like, oh, then you gotta do everything over again, right? Like, ugh. Okay, here comes our mini boss. I'm gonna put that right down in there. I like having this when I'm using little dies. Yeah, Lisa's telling Steve to take care of his sugar mama. That's right, Lisa. That's right. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Like, wow, that's kind of weird looking though because it's way over there. Just hang on. We're going to fix it. All right. Then what we're going to do is we're going to bring this stamp in here. Now I'm going to stamp this again and then stamp off just because it's kind of probably dried up, right? And I'm going to just kind of come right in here and then we're gonna do it again. And I'm gonna come, I think I want some different leaves over here, so hang on. I'm gonna bring this in over here. See how I did that right there? Now look at how pretty that label is. You don't even notice that it's off over to the side, it looks, like you meant to do that, which is exactly what we did. Uh, hang on, I'm gonna change my glasses here. And maybe I am not. What did I do with them? Oh my gosh, you guys. I took my glasses off and left them right here on my desk so that I could switch. And then I can't even find them. That's great. Hang on. 
know what happens to my things. Now we have no glasses. Okay, <laughs> don't worry, I can still stamp. Darn it. Whew. Next thing we're gonna do here is we are going to take the uh, white layer. This is our two by five and a quarter inch white layer. And we're going to stamp up this layer with the flower. Also the sprig image and these leaves. So I think I'm trying to decide what do I want to use first. I think I'm going to go with the flower and we're going to do the starry sky ink. Thank you very much, Gay, for sharing twice. I really appreciate that. Here comes our flower. And how about another little flower right there? And maybe one right here. And then we'll do one peeking in right here. Little one right there. And one, how about right there? Okay, we'll see if we need to add any more. Right now, we're okay. Then I'm going to come in with gray granite and the sprig and just add in some of these sprigs around in here. So we'll put one right in here, and maybe a little bit bigger one right in there. So we're doing a little bit of collage stamping is what's happening here. Then I'm gonna come in with this. Did you guys tell me was this a ginkgo? I keep forgetting to look at my screen to find out. <laughs> Oh my gosh, doesn't she listen? <laughs> patience, have patience. Okay. I'm gonna stamp off once because I want this to be a little bit lighter. Do you see the difference there? I think if I left the ink um, in the first generation, oh, no, my glasses aren't on my head. Thank you for that though, because I really did feel my head. <laughs> I think if I left it first generation, it would kind of take over everything. So I like how subtle this is. So I'm stamping off each time and coming in here. So this is what I've done with my collage stamping. And I'm still not finding my glasses. Do you guys remember when I did that unboxing, I said that I had lost a set of dies. I still haven't found those. I, don't, I know I had them laying out someplace. I wonder if they slipped under my cabinet. I'll bet you that's where they are. I'll bet you they're under my cabinet because it's raised off the floor just a little bit and I had them sitting over on the floor. Okay. I'll look later. Not now. We're busy. <laughs> okay. Here comes our layer. We're going to add this to our stuff. I know, right? Judy says, beautiful. I know. This is Kathy's. This was Kathy's design. She did a fantastic job, as always. She's a really good stamper. She's been dealing with the whole allergy sinus thing, too. Like, I haven't seen her. I don't think she came over last week because she wasn't feeling great either. But she's coming tomorrow. Yay! I'm going to have Brooke busy. I'm going to have Kathy busy. Everybody's going to be busy. Okay, now I'm gonna take this one with the gray granite. And now I don't think I'm gonna stamp off at all. I think I'm just, yep, full strength. You're gonna do full strength on this gray granite layer. And we're just gonna kind of fill this up. Oh my gosh, you guys are just gonna, I know you're gonna love this. It's so pretty. There we go. That looks great. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. chamois. You guys need a, something to clean your stamps with. This is a Simply Chamois. It's called S H A M M Y. You can find this in my online store, and I love it. You just take it, rinse it out under water, squeeze the water out, do it again, squeeze the water out until it's not running with blue or red ink or whatever. And then I just put it in a clear stamp case. Okay, <sighs> I'm sweating. I'm not gonna lie, I'm sweating, oh my gosh. <laughs> Sweating like a little pig. Um, yeah, let's try this. We're gonna do one more, we're gonna do one right over there. This is gonna be our inside layer. Sorry you guys, I kinda forgot that I needed that one. Holly says she loves her chamois. Mickey says she's got it, you betcha. I love it, it's like the easiest way to clean your stamps. Okay, whoops, did you see that? A Little bit of glue. That will make a disaster, won't it? Okay, let's see. 
Let's try this again. We're gonna put this on the inside of our gray ga granite. Great granite. I haven't been drinking, I promise. Um, great granite car base. But if I was drinking, I would have had an old fashioned, I'm just saying. All right, and then we're going to take this layer and add our flowers right on here. And I love this spectacular pop of color. And here we go. Make sure this is on here straight. And I see mine is a little bit longer, so I'm just going to trim this off. And this may be where I need some glasses. Or not. <laughs> It is. Like, how can you just take your glasses off and now you can't find them? I just don't understand. I just went back for another look, you guys. They're not here. <laughs> okay. So we took we took this and I cut the label out of it. So here's another label. What we're gonna do with this is that good little trick where we just cut this in half horizontally. And we're going to take this label and add it to the back. So we have a beautiful pop of that starry sky to make a frame at the top and the bottom. Oh, it's starry sky. Thank you for asking, Jean. This is starry sky with gray granite. Yeah, it's so pretty. Like this, when I first saw the color, it's like, oh, blue. But once you start using it, it's like, oh my gosh, blue. It's just so pretty. Look how pretty that is. All right, we're gonna grab our dimensionals. Let me get out my little basket of goodness here. <laughs> All my little goodies in it. We're going to add some dimensionals. Now, I wanna add some ribbon. And I'm going to, let's see. If we do some ribbon, we could probably take it and do like this. Oh, I do like that. What do you guys think? Do you like that? I like that ribbon just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna just take a little bit of this. I'm gonna grab some of my regular tape here, put that on here, and then my scissors are dirty. I need to clean them because they're not cutting every time I go to cut. I might need to trim that off a little bit more, but we are going to add our card front to our card base and call it a day, I think. Ooh, I gotta get an envelope too. That should not be beeping. And there we go. That's a mute. And then pick off your dimensional backings with your take your pick tool. It's the nicest, easiest way to do it. And I think I'm going to go just like this. Now I've got one more little nice surprise for this card. I'm gonna trim this up a little bit, you guys, because they're just a little bit long. There we go. Okay, isn't that pretty? Then we are going to grab, where did those, here we go. These faceted gems, you get a whole pack of these with this online class. By the way, option one for this online class is $113 and it includes the whole enchilada. Option number two is all the pre-cut cardstock with the embellishments and the roll of ribbon and the online class is $45. So just so you know what's happening there. Now remember when I said I had the Starry Sky um, Stamp and Blend marker? This is an alcohol-based marker. I am going to color these clear faceted gems with my marker. And because it's alcohol, it will stay on there. And we are going to add these to the front of our card for a spectacular splash of color and the faceted woohoo, right? Isn't that pretty? All right, I'm grabbing an envelope right now. So 
so I can fan myself a little bit because I'm sweating like a little pig. I think the glasses really got me going in a hot flash because I'm like, where are my glasses? Oh, you guys, they're right on the floor. Oh, they are under my desk. Good grief, Kelly. Oh, thank goodness we found it. Okay, so for this, I am thinking that I want to do this little flower. I just think it's so pretty. And I think that I will do one here. Let's see if I can make this look like it's... <gasps> look at how good I did. <laughs> like it just goes right together. Okay, so I think that's what I'm going to do. And let me get my stamps cleaned off because we have another card to make with this beauty. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love it. All right, let me regroup. Uh, my next card, I don't think I need gray granite or starry sky. So let me put those away. Get a drink. Did you guys have supper yet? Oh my gosh, that's so good. I did not have supper yet, but I told you I had a salad. It was a lot earlier today. Then the kids came over and then I ate some dots, um, pretzels, which are horrible. You know how good they are. I shouldn't have been eating them. Oh, I know what I wanted to do here too. Do you guys have this limited edition stamp set? This was one of the stamp sets that Stampin' Up! sent out for an event that they did a couple months ago or a month ago or so. But this has got all of the copyright stamps in it. So I just want to let you know this new stamp set. If you sell, if you make and sell cards, you need to put the copyright on the back of any cards that you're using Stampin' Up! product on. And so that's what this stamp set is for. And I really like... Oh, I didn't put the labels on all of these yet. Darn it. I really like this little one because it's like a stamp. So I'm going to put that on the back of my card. I'm not selling this card, but I just think it's kind of cute to have it on there saying that, you know, it was hand stamped because that's how cool I am. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, so here we go. And since I don't have my label on, I'm just going to take a little look-see over here and make sure that I can get this on here straight because I don't want to screw it up at this point, right? Oh, good grief. Don't mess it up, Kelly. I'm going to stand up. Oh my gosh, please be straight. Oh, I did really good. But isn't that cool? Hand stamped, copyright stamping up. So um, it's got all of these little copyrights in here, handcrafted from the heart, Made with love, just for you, limited edition, a paper hug from me, and one of a kind creation. This is called limited edition. This is just a great stamp set to add to your arsenal of product. <gasps> Who had lasagna? Denise, you're killing me with the lasagna. I love lasagna. You know, I'm kind of mad at Steve because he bought some um, enchiladas at Costco. Like you can buy in the deli, like there's enchiladas and you just bake them. They're all made, you know, in a red sauce or something. Anyways, he never cooked them. They're still in the fridge, and I think they're done. Like, I don't think we can have them now. So that made me kind of not happy. I don't need to be wasting food like that. Right? <laughs> right, people? I don't like that at all. Okay, next step. Oh, we've got some fun color happening here, you guys. Look at all of this. So let me set this aside. We'll bring this back out. We're still going to be using the Nature's Prints, but this is going to be a totally, and I mean totally different card. Like, it's so different. Get all my bits and pieces out here. All right. I've got an envelope. I've got some Parakeet Party. Love that color. And here comes the rest of our pieces. So I'm going to be using, this is going to be like a really kind of a very clean and crisp card. Pork chops, slaw, rice, and fresh vegetables. Joanne Porter, I am headed to the West Coast to eat dinner with you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Brownies and Cool Whip. Jackie, I'll be there for dessert. <laughs> I'm 
made rhubarb crisp this week. So every time I go in the kitchen, I take a, a spoonful of it. Isn't that terrible? I don't want a whole piece. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we've got basic white thick. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And then I've got this gorgeous in color six by six designer series paper. So you guys, this is so pretty. This is all our new in colors. Look at how gorgeous this paper is. It's just bright and cheerful and so pretty. I love the patterns. There's two different patterns. You get floral with stripes and you get polka dots with plaid in each one of the new in colors. So I am using the Parakeet Party. I just thought that would be a nice pop of color with, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is Tahitian Tide with Parakeet Party. So I've got a little scrap here. I've got a three quarter inch strip here. And what I plan to do with that is just add it to the inside of my card. I just, oh, I think I'm gonna put it over here actually. I just wanted a little pop of color in here. And then I can write my message. So if you guys remember, oh, this was from Stamp Happy Live class the other day. I made a card that I said I was gonna send to my mom because her cat died. I know, sadness, right? So I sent my mom the card and I wrote in there um, that I was so sorry about her cat, but he had a really good life and he was very lucky to have had her, you know, because he was. Farm cats don't usually live very long because, well, they're farm cats, but he had a charmed life. He lived in the house and got to go outside and, you know, kill things and mice and whatever and do all the things. And last year, I bought a couple gift cards to the local ice cream shop by her where she lives. This says, best wishes and happy thoughts. And I'm going to stamp that right on this designer series paper. So I'm doing the stripe side. And this is kind of just stamping right on designer paper. Well, let me take a look at this. I want to make sure I'm getting this centered good. We have more if I mess it up. Oh, that looks really good. Anyways, I bought two gift cards last Last year, last maybe spring, I think I got one for her for her birthday because she loves this ice cream shop and they're expensive. Like it's real homemade ice cream, right? Um, so, oops, hang on. She took a long time to use this ice cream card up and I figured, you know, I probably, maybe it was a little too much. Like I should have made it for less, but whatever. I made it for what I made it for and my mom's worth it. <laughs> and so... Um, it took her a long time to use it. So I thought, well, I'll give her the other one the next time we have something or just for no reason. So I remembered that I had it and I went to put it in her envelope and it says it expired in September of last year. And I know that I just bought it for her last year. So now I'm really mad and I'm thinking they better honor that gift card or they're going to know who I am. <laughs> you guys know what I mean? Oh my gosh. Rah. <laughs> Oh, I see somebody's got kittens to give away. Connie says, my mom is awesome. She is. Connie got to meet my mom when she was here helping me for a retreat. So that was kind of fun. Okay, so this is what I did. I created a label out of the Tahitian Tide designer series paper. This is just something a little different to do with your designer paper. If your pattern is not super duper busy, right? You can stamp on it and use that for your layers. Okay. Then, oh, I don't know. I don't think this will fit in here. Oh, yeah, it might. <laughs> we might destroy it, too. So now I'm going to take this scrap of Tahitian Tide, or I mean Parakeet Party. Well, I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to use my big machine, you guys, because I don't want to wreck my die. It might be just a little bit too wide for the mini boss. So hang tight as I run this through my big machine back here. So anyways, like I got my mom, I sent her this gift. It's a, you know, just a little paper gift certificate from this ice cream place, but it says it expired in September of 21. And I am not gonna be a happy camper if they don't let her use that ice cream thing. Okay. So I see people are talking about their cats that they adopted. Yeah, um, my mom's cat that died, we actually have Kyle, who is his brother. So I, same age. And then we have Snooky, who is from a litter that is younger than Kyle, but the same mom. 
Here is our wreath. I just cut, um, die cut, and I'm going to, well, usually I like to leave the metal on here when I'm um, popping out with the die brush, but the, you really can't see a lot of the little bits and pieces in there. So it's kind of silly to leave it on there, but you can be more aggressive with your die brush if you leave the metal on your cardstock while you're trying to get out the bits and pieces. But one thing I wanted to show you about this, first of all, this is an adapter for the Take Your Pick tool. This little part right here comes right off. It's wonderful. And you also get this foam mat with it so that you can do your brushing, right? But um, I love this die because look at how easy it was to get the, all the bits and pieces out. It's done. So that makes me very happy. I just keep this in here. This is an old paper pumpkin box. I just keep it in here and that's what I use my dye brush in. All right, now we are going to take that embossing folder and we're going to, here it is. We're going to take the basic white layer and emboss it in this embossing folder. Okay, this is the Fern 3D embossing folder. And I've already done that, so yay. And then we can add our wreath. So I think what I want to do, yep, I'm going to add my wreath right here to this layer. So I've got, uh, hang on, I've got to find my, there it is. This is my silicone mat and my gluey sponge dauber. We're gonna take some of our liquid glue. By the way, when you're when you're done with this, what we're gonna do now, um, see how the glue, you just go like this and that glue that was puddled up on there, you can just throw it in the garbage. That's how you just clean these so they're ready to go next time. But yeah, it just, just wipes off like that. I think you can run it under the sink too, whatever makes you happy, but that's one way to do it. So I'm going to add a little bit of liquid glue there. I've got a sponge dauber and I'm going to bring this in. I don't want it all globby, so I kind of do this a little bit with my glue. I hear Molly down downstairs. She's still stamping the back of my catalogs, you guys. She's a trooper. I told her I got all of her pictures developed at Walgreens so she can start doing her scrapbooking album, but she has to do a little work for me first. That's our deal. <laughs> okay, there's our beautiful little wreath. Now, we're gonna come in and we're gonna bring this in here and we're gonna put it right there. So I want some dimensionals. And gonna add dimensionals to the back of my pretty little label. Now this is just another card idea using the nature's prints to go with that online class where you're gonna get six more ideas. I just love that. Okay, here comes this. Now we need to do something a little bit more, right? We need just a little bit more with this. So I've got a scrap here and I am going to take Memento ink <clears throat> and this little flower. And we're going to use that again. And I just need to stamp the flower. I don't need the stem and all the other things there. And then I'm going to grab my Tahitian Tide Stampin' Blend Markers. Let's see, I'll do the dark one first. I'm just going to color around the inside there and maybe just a little bit around the outside edges and then we'll blend it and you'll see what a spectacular artist I am. And then I'll tell you that it's the markers. They do all the work here. Like, and it's true. Here comes the light Tahitian Tide and for right now I'm just going to go around and color. And now you can see that, let me get the inside there. It's just kind of globby, right? But as you continue to blend, it'll make the dark blend in with the light and it will look amazing, amazing. Okay, so once we have that done, we're gonna find that flower die and we're going to die cut that. 
and I can get this out. I have already done that. So we're gonna take a wink of Stella because why wouldn't you? Grab your wink of Stella and let's give this flower a little bit of bling. This is just gonna make it a little glittery. It's gonna be so pretty. And remember now I'm just doing the flower and didn't do anything else. Can you see that? Oh, so pretty. Then I'm going to just cut off the stem. So now all I have is this little flower. So we're doing a little modification. We're going to add this right up here to our label. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right there. You could use a mini glue dot if you wanted to, if you felt more secure doing that. I think I would like a little um, mini dimensional under that the edge of that flower. So I'm just going to grab one here and I'm going to pop this off. I'm going to stick my dimensional right there. And now I'll put that flower back on there with the glue. Isn't that pretty? Easy peasy. You could whip up a ton of these. You could make them all different colors with the in colors as far as the label and flowers go. But next we have our in color baker's twine. You get all five colors of baker's twine in here. And I think there's 10, yeah, 10 yards. So that's pretty darn cool. I have got the Tahitian Tide. I'm going to grab my bow jig. Now, I sell these, they're $10, that includes shipping, if you don't have one, otherwise you can make your own. You drill holes, one inch apart, and then half inch and half inch on a piece of wood. These nails don't have big heads on them, so that you can slip off your bows that you're making. Now, I don't know if I want this to be this big. Nope, I think I want it to be about this big. So I'm gonna put this on here, and I'm gonna twirl it around three times. I am going to bring it down and over, and I think I cut it a little shorter than I should have, but it'll be fine if I can get it tied. It's like the challenge is getting a hold of it. Yeah, I want mine to be a little bit bigger, so let's start over. And I got something sticking to my finger here. How is everybody doing? Are you guys still alive and awake? <laughs> Here we go. Let's try this again. Don't cut it ahead of time. I think that was left over from something else and I thought I could use it, but apparently I was mistaken. Here we go. One, on. one, two, three. I just wrapped it around three times and now I've got enough to give me some nice tails here. And then you just tie it in a single knot. Pretty simple. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, do you guys remember Bonnie Thurber? She used to say that. She was um, with Stampin' Up, and oh my gosh, we just loved her. She was so funny. But she would always say, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And I really miss her. She, I think she's a school counselor now. Wonderful lady. Okay, here we go. I'm going to roll this up into a little log. And I'm gonna put that little log right down here at the bottom of our label and add our triple bow right down there. Oh, so pretty right. Okay, where's our card base? Here comes, make sure you got it going the right way. <laughs> that would be a disaster. I'm going to add my Fern 3D embossing folder and I'm going to Put my glue around the outside because sometimes when you use embossing folders it will like um wrinkle up on the edges and if you put your glue all the way around the outside you won't have that happen okay that looks really pretty right now we have these fabulous glossy dots and i'm going to use these because they match the tahitian tide perfectly and my take your pick tool has that putty end on it that works fantastic for picking up these little embellishments. And I'm just gonna do one right there and then I think we'll do one little one right up there. 
I want to do, I think that I'm going to use the Parakeet Party on my envelope because that's going to be really bold and pretty. Does any, oh, here it is. I'm like, where did my envelope go? So here comes the, the thing I keep saying that I am not listening for the answer. I'm calling it a ginkgo. How about that? Because <laughs> every time I ask then, it takes some while for your comments to come up on the screen and then I'm off on to another thing. Squirrel. <laughs> I'm going to come right in here. Oh, look how pretty that is. What do you guys think of this? Isn't that a different like color combination? So vibrant, so pretty. I really love this. Okay, let me get my little mess cleaned up here. I just stuck my fingers in the green. Now my, ugh, it tasted icky. I licked my finger, the ink does not taste good. <laughs> Christine says that this suite makes awesome cards. It really does, like it is the prettiest. So that's why we decided to do an online class with it because we knew how beautiful it was, right? Okay, so here's this. Let me get all of this. Oh, you know what? I didn't do this. So, um, hang on. I want to put my stamp on the back. I keep forgetting to do that. I am going to do, how about this one? Let's put this away. I'm going to do this one. Made with love. And I'm going to do that with the Parakeet Party ink. Now I'm all into this. I think it's fun. <laughs> Look at that. Made with love. Is that making you nervous that I'm holding this card over an open ink pad? <laughs> I know, right? That was crazy. She's so daring, that Kelly. She's so daring. I know. I live right on the edge, right? <laughs> Ginkgo's a little different. Okay, so um, I'm reading. Now, Jean says it's a maiden hair fern. Okay, so I can call it a fern, even though the other one is really a fern, and I don't really consider this a fern. This is really a fern. So you're telling me this is a fern too. All right. Let's see if I can remember that. I just want to let you know, Jean, it's highly unlikely. Um, who's asking? Uh, Char is asking if I'm having a stamp sale in Steve's garage. Nope, I am not having a stamp sale in Steve's garage. Um, I quit doing them a couple years ago and I have not gotten back into them. Kathy Miller has a sale at her house out in Sherwood now that people have been taking their stuff to. So, and that already happened. Um, but... You can get on her email list. Just give her a holler. And it is all local. She does not do any shipping of anything. It's like a real garage sale in her garage. So shipping and coordinating all that and doing all that, it's just too much work. Too much, too much. Okay, I'm going to put this away. You guys have been just amazing tonight. I have some swap cards to share with you that you haven't seen, okay? And I want to share them with you because next week, not this week, but next week Thursday is June 30th. And what that means is that our mini catalog is gone. It's over. June 30th is the last day for this beautiful beautiful mini catalog and there's some things in here right now up to 50% off you guys so there's a list on my blog on every blog post like for the last week or so right here's my blog you will find the last chance list and you definitely want to go take a look at that because that's where it shows you what's still available what's on sale all the things but one thing I pulled out today that I wanted to share with you is some cards that I don't think I ever showed you. So you're going to get a big bonus tonight. Whew. This is the daffodil set. And isn't that so pretty with that black and white gingham and the black and white paper? Oh, look, that just fell off. Get that back on there. Oh, maybe it was supposed to go on here. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. So, yes, this is the daffodil daylight. 
or Daydream, Daffodil Day, Daydream Bundles. So, so pretty. Here's another beautiful swap card. Gorgeous. A little bit of variated, you know, uh, ombre type color. Look at this one. So pretty. <gasps> Got a lot of Wink Estella on there. Here comes another one. Let me get this open. Oh, this is from my friend Judy Garza. She makes really pretty cards too. Here we go, little fun folds, isn't that pretty? This is a beautiful, beautiful stamp set. Here's another one, gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And this was our celebration paper last round. Not this time, but last time. Look at that, very, very pretty. This is Day Daffodil Daydream. And I am going to I've got some more cards to share with you, so just hang tight. Let me see if I can find this. Now, this is the one, this is the bundle on page 37 that I actually did my video with Sarah Douglas of Stampin' Up! with this suite. And we actually made this card when I was out there for my million dollar achievement trip. So yeah, this is the, this is the bundle. So, so pretty. And of course it had matching celebration paper last time around. You may have some of that. And then the other thing that I wanted to, I don't know if this is even still available. I should have probably looked, but for anybody who has this, let me find page 66. I don't know if this is still available. Do you guys know if the Cactus Cuties is gone yet? This is such a fun stamp set. I love it. It's a stamp set and a punch, but I'm gonna show you cards, and if it is gone you'll and you already own it, you'll get some good ideas. Look at how cute this is. I love these colors. This is just, I love this Cactus Cuties. Here comes another one. This is from my friend, Candy Michael. She always makes such pretty stuff. I like that wood grain in the background. Here comes another one. <gasps> How pretty is this? Look at that. Oh my gosh. Isn't that cool? This is a neat fun fold. Who made this? Jeannie Scioli. Very, very pretty. This almost looks like a little Mickey Mouse something or another, doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Here comes another one. Uh, let me get this out. Brr. Oh, this is by Dawn Bourget. I think that's how you say Dawn's name. She's another phenomenal stamper. Look at how pretty that is. I love this on that label and that beautiful paper. This is the paper that I'm sending to Wendy Morse tonight. This is in there, Wendy. So you'll be able to make that card. This is from my friend Dina. <sighs> how cute is that? Hope your day is on point with her favorite color, Coastal Cabana. The color that tells God, tells you that God loves you. Next up, we have this little beauty. Happy birthday. This is from Priscilla. This is a swap. This is from Priscilla. She's on my team. Love this card. Here's an envelope to match. Oh, I actually made this card for one of our Facebook Lives, I think and it was Priscilla's idea. So that's why I have two. Another envelope and let's see, where does this one? I don't I don't remember where this goes. Like I must've used the card without the envelope. Anyways, this is the Cactus Cuties on page 66. If you have this, here are some fantastic ideas for you to use. If you don't have it and it's still available, you can maybe order it. I don't know, I didn't look. But it, it is a really, really cute. Oh, the cactus bundle is sold out. Dolly, thank you so much. I wasn't sure. So for those of you that already have it, beautiful ideas for you. I will try to show these a little bit earlier next time. I apologize for that. So we have some mail. And I need to show you my mail because it's pretty cool. This card, oh, you know what? I don't think this came in my mail recently. It came in a mail sometime, but not recently. 
this Priscilla sent Steve a Father's Day card, and I just love this. I love this layout. I love these little elements in here. This is the He's the Man, He's All That bundle. So, so cool. All day your way. Enjoy your day. Priscilla, Steve had to walk upstairs, open my office door, and say, Priscilla sent me a Father's Day card. I was on my live the other day when he did it. So he was very impressed. Thank you so much. Molly is coming in saying, I finished all the work Graham Kelly gave me. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's my 11-year-old with her technology, right? Yay, Molly. Thank you, Molly. Thank you very much. Here comes a beautiful, beautiful card. This is from Bonnie Radke. And she is um, thanking me for the bow jig, and she wants to know how to use it. So, Bonnie, let me show you one more time. Here comes our ribbon. You put your nails in specifically however big you want your bow to be. If you want a really big bow, you put it out here. If you want a really little bow, you put it right here. For this ribbon, I'm gonna go just like this. You're going to take this and cross it over. Whatever one is on top, whether it's this one or this one, you push it under in between, bring it over and tie it in a single knot. This is where you would move it side to side to get it right in the middle. This is what we have. Take your nail out, take your ribbon out, and now you can manipulate this to make it be the shape and go the way that you want. And there's your cute little bow every single time. So I sent this to Bonnie and she is like, Oh, I love it, but I don't know what to do with it. So there you go. You can make bows perfect every single time. You can use baker's twine, you can use ribbon, whatever you need to use. So there you go, Bonnie, and you are very welcome. Next up, oh, and this was her card. Did I show you her card? I'm so sorry, it's so pretty. Look how pretty it is. I love those rain boots. I believe those are retiring also. Are the rain boots? I know Priscilla went through my catalog and marked it for me. Bless her heart. It takes a village, you guys. I'm just not even kidding, right? Um, they're on page 30. And I don't know where I'd be with all my without all my helpers. Oh, I don't think they are retiring because that is not marked as retiring. So I don't know, though. Somebody will tell me. Becky says, bows and fussy cutting are her downfall. Well, Becky... Do you have one of these? Because this thing is amazing. Make one. You can get one from me. Whatever works for you. Uh, next up, we have Cynthia Jacobson sent me this gorgeous. Okay, the rain boots are retiring. I wonder if, I don't know. Anyways, um, this, I know that these dies were still available and they were 50% off. The stamp set that goes with the artfully creative or artfully something um, aren't available anymore. But this says, thank you for the team meeting. Happy mail. She's looking forward to trying some projects using the masking paper. I sent her a pack of our new masking paper um, with our team meetings once a month. When you watch them live, I do a live meeting just like this virtually. When you watch them live, you get entered in the door prize drawings. And Cynthia Jacobson from Boise, Idaho, she got a pack of the masking paper. So she is going to be enjoying that. She also said to thank me, Dina and Barb for putting on the fun catalog kickoff event. The make and pay take packet was so full of goodies. It was way beyond expectations. So Cynthia, thank you for your beautiful card. All right, oh, I got, oh, hang on, just a couple more. These are so pretty, you guys. Look how pretty this is. This is from Linda Keister. Linda lives right here in Wisconsin. And it says, thank you for the happy mail. You are an inspiration. Ah, uh, Linda, thank you for this beautiful card. It is gorgeous. Next up, we have Catherine Sherlow from Cincinnati. <gasps> Look how pretty this is, you guys. 
These are, this is the pansy paper and she put some Wink Stella on it. So that's gorgeous. And who said the, the bundle is the, the bundle is retiring. The stamps and dies are not. Dion, are you talking about the rain boots? Is that the, is that what you're talking about? Let me know. Cause I can keep an eye on that now. Um, Kathy is telling me, thank you for the iridescent jewels. It was a really nice surprise. You are so welcome. I'm so happy that you got them. <laughs> thank you, Debbie. Debbie says it does take a village. It really does. I, I take all the help I can get. I've learned that over the years. You know, when you're, especially kind of when you're in business for yourself, let's be real. People who are self-employed tend to be rather control freakish, right? And if you really want to grow and expand, you need to let go of that. And that's kind of difficult because I do like to have control over all of my things for my business. But at some point to be able to grow, that's a good business move is to delegate and get help. And then you have to let it go, <laughs> which is hard, but I've gotten pretty good at it because I like having a life. <laughs> Look at how pretty this is, you guys. Oh my gosh. This is from Denise Thingelstadt. And she says, thank you so much for everything that you did to make the 2022-2023 annual catalog kickoff so much fun and very inspiring. Denise, this is gorgeous. Thank you so much for this beautiful card. Isn't that pretty? Okay, hang on. Oh, here's one more. And then I can show you my, my presents. This comes from Susan Hine of Grafton, Wisconsin. It says, whoso finds a wife, finds a good thing and obtains favor of the Lord. Happy 30th wedding anniversary to Stephen Kelly. May the Lord bless you and keep, your, keep you thriving. A strong family is a great blessing from Susan. You are so right about that, Susan. I love your card. It's adorable. And the anniversary wishes. Thank you so much. Now, Sherry sent me this. Sherry Pyre from Florida. I almost got to meet Sherry in Florida. But her flight was canceled, delayed, whatever. And she couldn't get back to Florida to go out to lunch with me. <laughs> this card comes from her. And I love the pretty vibrant colors here. It says, thank you for all the hard work you put into the amazing 2022-2023 annual catalog party. Um, she saw, oh, she saw these towels and thought of us because of one of my live videos. And also, I know you, you are always so busy. Take get some time to soothe your tired eyes. So I got to show you this, you guys. This was the cutest thing. Look at it. This is cucumber cooling iPads. Look at how funny is that? I can't hardly wait to use these. So you put these on to instantly cool and soothe your eyes. You know I'm going to use these, Sherry. So sweet. But check this out. This is what she sent me. Oh, Cabana Boy, refill please. Oh my gosh. Steve saw this laying in the kitchen on the counter and he started laughing. And funny story. Stephanie bought some patio pillows for her patio furniture, and it's a pillow this color, this color right here with white lettering on it that says something about Cabana Boy. Great big pillow. So you are right on trend, Sherry. This is the cutest thing ever. Fantastic card, fabulous tiles. You know Steve's going to ruin these, right? Because the, he's the reason I can't have nice things. Yeah. <laughs> You know that's what happens. Yeah. So thank you so much for these. These towels are really nice. And I will um, I will be putting these out and get a big kick out of them to boot. And I can't wait to use these because these look really cool. Okay, you guys. We are going to wrap it up and call it a night. And I will try to share pictures with you from our road trip to see not Taylor Swift or Shania Twain at a county fair with a rodeo in North Dakota. <laughs> we are so crazy, aren't we? I think this is going to be a blast. Like, this is how we're going to make memories. So, I'm going to take this back downstairs, Priscilla. It belongs to Steve. Uh, thank you guys so much for the anniversary wishes. <clears throat> Here we go. 
This, again, is the Nature's Print with the Sun Prints Designer Series paper. I have a whole online class with that. Also, when I'm here, I will be live next week, by the way, at 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. Central Time on Sunday night, so don't worry about that. I have a blog um, hop coming up Friday with the Totally Techniques using paper piecing techniques, so I'm hoping to get that done before I leave. I also have a class with the Charming Sentiments Bundle, and this is the one with all the sentiments, and then it cuts out all of these words. If you would like to order those, I have a few more of those left. I, it's a pre-order, so I haven't sent them out yet, but um, that'll be coming out this week. So, online class with Nature's Print, online kit class with Charming Sentiments, and I will be live next Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Time. I hope you guys can join me. And as always, I want to thank you so much for being a part of my inky world, for spending your Sunday evening with me. I have so much fun with you guys. Have yourselves a wonderful week. And thank you for all the anniversary wishes. Molly's up here. You want to stick a tan hand? Look at how tan she is. This is my little Italian girl. Yeah. Mm. Like a coconut. All right, you guys. Bye, Bye. everybody. Bye.